And now, from the Career Tech Studios in Stillwater, here's your host, Rob McClendon. Well, we've just gone through one of the worst recessions since the Great Depression. Unemployment remains a drag on the economy and a threat to every working American. And while some jobs are gone forever, others are emerging. So the challenge is, how do we compete in a global economy where others in developing nations are just as skilled but willing to work for much less? This entire month, we're going to be talking about jobs, where they are and where they aren't. But today, I do want to start with our annual economic outlook. Oklahoma's lost 80,000 jobs during the recession, but an often untold story is that we've regained almost half of those. It's a turnaround that's being noticed nationally and one that economists believe will only gain in momentum. We don't recognize the strength that we've experienced at the end of 2010. Just one of many comments presented as part of Oklahoma State University's annual economic outlook conference held at Metro Technology Center in Oklahoma City. Russell Evans is the director of the Applied Economic Research Center located at OSU Spears School of Business and joins me now here in studio. Well, when we talked last year, I said, what a difference a year, mate, because we'd had that boom year and then we were heading into a downturn. Let me ask that same question to you today. What a difference a year, mate. It really is. And, and we've come almost full circle from where we were at, where we were at 12, 18 months ago, which was in a, a economy that was withstanding the recession fairly well, but with a, uh, a you know, a tight budget looming and it was difficult to convince people uh, just how just how serious economic conditions were in Oklahoma and now we're 180 degrees the economy is recovering and now we're having uh, difficulties convincing people that the economy is stronger given the tight budgets that we're going to face next year down the Capitol. And one of those people that we're having a hard time convincing are consumers who Absolutely. are still hanging onto that wallet because I think over fear of job loss. Yeah, so you, you still see the headline numbers, the, the high national unemployment rates. You still see all this contributing to a little uh, uneasiness on the part of consumers. And we've seen businesses return to, to spend some money, uh, put together inventories, purchase the capital and equipment that they need. Businesses are on standby waiting for a return of the consumers. As the consumers return and make their purchases, we will see hiring pick up. Yeah, and you have used the analogy that a recovery is like the flu, a recession is like the flu. Tell us about that. Yeah, I, I really think so. You know, when it's, it's sort of that season right now, and as you catch a cold or a flu, you have this period where you begin to feel a little tired, you don't feel yourself, and then you sort of reach the bottom where you're just really sick and you're, you just really feel, feel miserable. And then there's a lag between when you start to recover and when you actually feel healthy again. And we're in that sort of lethargic couple of weeks after the, after the flu where you, you just don't quite feel yourself yet even though you, you recognize that you're getting better. And we were that way in 2010. I think 2011, we actually begin to, to pick up a little strength and, and feel a little healthier as we move back towards being at full health. Let's talk a, a little bit about some of the various sectors in our economy. Let's start off with energy. What can we expect there? I think the energy sector looks, looks fairly strong in Oklahoma. What we saw is that in 2009, uh, fairly uh, aggressive job losses uh, as oil and gas companies tried to trim their positions a little bit. As things stabilized, as oil prices uh, stayed at, at moderate levels, we saw the hiring uh, occur almost immediately. And so you saw this aggressive drop in employment followed by a fairly aggressive recovery. And I suspect next year will be a, a, a modest year for the oil and gas industry in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Good activity, good hiring. And, and how about aerospace now? Now aerospace is still pretty strong in Oklahoma and certainly had, uh, certainly had its, its hiccups too. But when you go through the recession, there's a tendency to re rely more on maintaining your existing fleet versus purchasing new fleets, which overall is good for Oklahoma as a maintenance, repair, and overhaul uh, leader in the nation. Uh, the aerospace industry is, is, is well suited for another good year as we, as we maintain existing fleets. And, and manufacturing is one of those industries that's been getting hit for several years now. Yeah, manufacturing is still important in Oklahoma, uh, certainly still contributes a lot to our overall economic activity, but we see firms substituting capital capital for labor, improving their equipment, improving their tools so that they can produce more output or continue to produce high value output, but to do it with fewer workers. And so I think we'll see the manufacturing sector continue to be important in Oklahoma. I just think we'll see it return to its trend decline in the number of jobs that are supported by that industry. 
what can we expect for agriculture and our rural communities? So agriculture and rural communities are in pretty good shape right now, relatively insulated thanks to some, some good commodity prices. You look nationwide, uh, corn, uh, corn farmers, soy farmers are going to see some record crops, record, record profits. Uh, we've seen orders nationwide again for farm equipment uh, up considerably, which suggests that our farmers are getting access to credit and they're buying uh, the machines and the tractors and the, and the implements that they need for their jobs. Uh, so all in all, it, it looks like that that sector is on the recovery. There will be some unease going forward in the next 12, 18, 24 months as we try to figure out what financial markets will do to commodity prices. So we may see some, some commodity price volatility due to financial institutions participation in that market. Other than that, uh, that sector uh, likewise seems to be uh, as strong as you could expect at this point in recovery. Well, all relatively good news. Is there any dark looming clouds out there? I know people have talked about state budget woes. Sure, the, the, the budget is obviously the, the elephant in the room at this, at, at this time. And I think there was, it will certainly be a challenge. It will certainly be difficult. I think tax revenues could surprise to the upside. I, I think consistent with some more economic activity, we'll have a little better tax revenues than, than we might have anticipated six, eight, nine months ago. Not nearly enough to close the entire shortfall. It will be a challenging year at the Capitol. I think in spite of uh, some difficult decisions and difficult news coming out of the Capitol, the rest of the state and most of the private sectors in the state will feel some relative strength and we'll, we'll have again this mixed bag where we feel a little healthier even as we read um, some rather difficult news coming out of the Capitol. Yeah, and back at the Capitol, you know, a $400 million deficit that could be compounded by a, ta a tax cut that could come in, be triggered. Could, be, least, could be triggered, absolutely. It's going to be very close to see whether or not we have the income, the growth in the income and the income tax necessary to, to trigger that reduction. But I suspect that it's certainly an issue that, that we should be considering because the numbers as they shape up right now look like that we could reach that trigger threshold. Yeah, and uh, I'm assuming, or maybe not, but lawmakers, when they pass that, they probably didn't realize how far we will have fallen. Yeah, we, we won't be anywhere near, even with the growth, we won't be anywhere near our, our 2007, 2008 individual income tax collection levels, right? We will grow off of the bottom that we hit last year, but we won't be returned to the levels of revenue that, that we had just three years ago. Is small business going to be the driver in our economy this coming year? You know, nationwide, small businesses are all, always drive uh, employment activity. Um, and so we're always interested in, in when general economic conditions improve enough so that I get lots of small businesses engaged in the labor market, doing lots of small hiring, as opposed to one or two large firms with, a, with some big headline hires. Now, when we talked last year, you said to 2012, we would start to see a turnaround. Could that be moving up any? I think we're a little ahead of schedule, frankly, of where I thought we'd be a year ago. And so we, we were really looking at 2013, end of 2013, before we really felt healthy again. I think we could be, you know, six months ahead of that pace. I think by the end of 2012, we feel pretty good, certainly by the first half of 2013. If conditions can hold na nationally, and that's not a, a non-trivial if, but if they hold uh, nationally, I think by end of 2012, first half of 2013, we'll, we'll, we'll feel pretty good again. And it's also reliant upon the energy sector, is it not? It, yeah, it's, it, it's certainly still a big driver in Oklahoma, um, but all indications are that oil prices and gas prices should hold at high enough levels to be consistent with, with moderate economic activity for the next two to three years. All right. Thank you so much for your insights. Good to be here.